All right, the AIM surplus nickel boron coated bolt carrier group. I just got this. I've only had it for a few days now. Uh, this isn't a review. I just figured there's a, there are quite a few videos out there already going uh, talking about this particular bolt carrier group from AIM surplus. But I figured you know. Uh, you can get more information. The more, the more information you can get about something, the better. That's the way I feel. So if this helps anybody, and if they're thinking about getting uh, this bolt carrier group, uh, and they might be a little suspicious because it is very inexpensive. Uh, I believe the price on this one was ninety nine ninety five. I don't remember. I just remember it was cheap. Uh, Aim Surplus actually has four different uh, bolt carrier groups that they offer that I'm aware of. There is a standard. Parkerized version, which is basically just like this, except for it's parkerized. The bolt is shot pinged and magnetically particle inspected, and that goes for the for the parkerized version. And for this version, as you can see, it's a M16 carrier group. Uh, the whole thing from tip to tip is nickel boron coated. Let's see if I can strip this for you. I'm looking through the camera here so it's not real easy to see what I'm doing. So let me give this a try. Everything's really stiff. All the parts, there we go. All the parts fit together really tight. I also have this coated in uh, some frog lube so it's kind of slippery too. I mean it's slippery to begin with because of the nickel boron coating and it's even even slippy, uh, slipperier with the uh, the frog lube. One thing I have noticed is, and I haven't been able to put any rounds, uh, tested this with any rounds or anything, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that because I'm, I actually bought this bolt carrier group for a rifle that I'm building. Uh, if you look here, this upper is not the upper that came with this rifle. That's the upper that came with this rifle. Uh, I am building a, a, another rifle and I'm going to use this and that rifle if, if I like it and I'll probably wind up buying one for both rifles or I'll go to the next version, which like uh, I think I don't know if I mentioned, there's four versions, four different versions they offer. There's the parkerized version, nickel, nickel uh, boron coated, this one, and then there's the next version, which they call version two, which has angle cuts on the bolt carrier group, and the extractor is uh, a billet machined. So, and it's also I believe it's it's not nickel boron coated. It's black, so it's it is different. And then they have another version. They have a nitride coated bolt carrier group. They're all basically the same. It's the coatings that seem to be the only difference. They're all M16 carrier groups. Uh, they're all shot painted and magnetic magnetically particle inspected. So that seems to be the only difference in them. Uh, one thing I did notice is the rings. It's really everything I said is real snug, especially the. There you go, especially the rings uh, on the bolt, and they're really sharp. So, and I don't remember. I've had this bolt. This is the the bolt that I have now for the for my uh, for my current rifle, and I don't remember it ever being this stiff. Now that could be a good thing. It, it seems to cycle fine through the rifle. You know, when I when I pull back on the charging handle and uh, let the bolt go home, it does go all the way into battery. It doesn't get hung up. So it doesn't seem to be an issue, but as you can see, it's completely coated. There is some, uh, definitely uh, some roughness on the inside here. And if I look at my current bolt carrier group, it's not nearly as rough inside. And this is a, a standard DPMS bolt carrier group. So as you see, it's an it's a AR-15 bolt carrier group but it's really smooth in there so I mean that's not a problem I don't believe that it would be an issue it's not a it's not a surface that's going to be rubbing up against anything uh, there's no contact inside there uh, completely coated throughout Let's see if I can put this back together all right like I said everything's really tight it doesn't seem to be a problem Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Where did that firing pin go? That's there we go. 
on the hunt. Nice. Get that lined up. There we go. Now, like I said, it's the, the rings seem to be uh, sharper, stiffer. And I know there's nothing wrong with this bulk hair group. Uh, I've, I've used this. I haven't had any issues with it. As you can see, it's still good. So it can't be a matter of the, the current bulk carrier. It, but like I said, I don't remember the gas rings being that sharp. So I can put this back in. And you'll see. It goes home. Goes into the rifle. Doesn't get hung up. Nice and smooth. Now I don't, of course this rifle's not loaded. I checked it. I keep any ammunition out here. So, yeah. But, so that's it. I mean, if that helps anybody who's thinking about, like I said, that I like to get as much information about a part Especially since it's so inexpensive, you might be suspicious. Of, oh, it can't be as it can't be that good. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they can offer it because any bolt, even just a standard uh, bolt carrier group, is like a, over a hundred dollars. And then if you get a nickel boron coated one, you're talking two hundred plus easily. So how they offer it so cheap? I mean, they say they just mass produce it. So I guess you know that's what it is. But that's a you can't beat that. Uh, it's supposed to be easier to clean. Everybody knows if you're looking at a, if you're looking at a video about a nickel nickel uh, boron coated bulk carrier group, you probably already know the the reason for it. So I don't think I really need to go into that. But basically, it's supposed to be easier to clean. It's uh, supposed to be uh, more lu lubricated, more um, slick. It's not supposed to hang up. So, but so that's it. I uh, hope that helps. If anybody's thinking about getting one, I hope that helps them with their decision. And that's it. Thanks.